How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today we're going to be talking about the drop rates of loot, how it's changed since the patch, we're going to be looking at the Universal Masterworks and how they fit into everything and basically just discuss what's been going on. So if you haven't noticed yet, since the patch has been released, the drop rates for Masterworks has gone literally down to the ground. Now there are a few rare instances where people are getting like 3 or 4 in a contract or they're just going free roaming and getting a few but for the general consensus of people it's pretty much you're getting 1 per contract which is the default one you're guaranteed. It's just not dropping, all that's dropping is purples and blues. They've gotten rid of the white and greens but now all we're getting is purples and blues. Yesterday when I played before the patch I was getting a ton of masterworks. In one legendary contract I managed to get 6 masterworks. Earlier today before the patch people were doing the necrochasm dungeon and they were walking away with masterworks and a legendary and people were generally overjoyed with happiness and extremely pleased with themselves because they were now being showered with loot. And for a looter shooter, especially in a game like this that prides itself on the Diablo model, that's a good thing. That keeps momentum high energy high and happiness high and god only knows Anthem right now needs all the happiness it can get but sadly that wasn't to be. Patch came in and pretty much drops reverted back to the good old ways of not dropping. Now when it comes to legendary gear I totally agree that it should be rare because it needs to be rare it's the best of the best right so as far as I'm concerned when it comes to legendary gear that should be rare because it is the top tier gear. But Masterwork gear should not be like this, it does not need to be like this. Masterworks should just freely drop. I'm not saying they should drop as often as purples, no, but you should be getting at least 3-4 of them or 5 of them in a stronghold. This is a relatively normal expected amount with the final boss having a chance at least to drop a legendary. Right now we just I don't know, I mean I did a whole, I did three strongholds today and other than the guaranteed masterworks at the end, I got one other one in the Scar stronghold, I didn't get one in the Heart of Rage, I didn't get another one in Tyrant Mine, it was literally a case of just, I don't know, I just felt, when I saw those five purples pop out, or three purples and two blues, it just made me feel like my whole time was wasted, don't get me wrong, I'm all for grinding and looting but you can't constantly give something and then take it away. They did it the first time and the community accepted it and we kind of dealt with it. Now they gave us a glimpse of what it feels like to actually be showered with loot again and they take it away and at this point I feel Bioware just cannot do this. You know I've been one of those people that have actually been there and being really positive with this game but I've criticized them where it needs to be criticized and this is one of those points. They need to stop doing this literally because it's not fair on the community and this is a go-to way a 100% model to tell your player base to fuck off and that is literally what they're doing because you can't give a baby candy and then as soon as the baby licks the candy, take it away and expect everything to be okay. Life doesn't work this way. You can't give people something and then take it away and expect it to be okay. It just doesn't work. They did it once and they got away with it. Now they've done it again and the backlash from this one is going to be huge. I can tell you, the forums, the reddit are going to be manic over this and they already are. You can just go there and it's completely and utterly fucking crazy because Right now, Bioware have disrespected the community. They haven't disrespected anyone else. They've literally disrespected the community. They did it the first time, and now they've done it again. And I find this totally unacceptable. You just cannot do this. You can't increase the drop rates to give that feel-good feeling, and then, just as the patch drops, boom! Bam! Game over. Back to shitty drop rates. You can't do that. That's just not right. And Bioware, who actually right now needs all the good graces they can get, royally fucked up. That's all I'm going to say on this matter. I mean, I think it's wrong. I think they should just revert it. Masterworks should be dropping in the plenty. The simple fact is, that's not the gear you're chasing. 
the gear you're chasing is the legendary gear. That's the gear you want. Masterwork is great, don't get me wrong, that's like endgame, right? But what you want is the god rolls with the 250% weapon damage on the legendaries. That's what you're looking for, and that's the grind that you want to go for. You don't want to struggle for one masterwork for a whole stronghold. That's not how this works. Diablo 3 didn't do this. I mean, when Diablo 3 launched, they gave you no fucking loot, and it was dying. The game was horrendous. In the end, what did they do? They had an event where they doubled or tripled the loot gain, and the community was like, fuck yeah, this is great. Then the developers realized, hang on a minute, the community is really loving this. We can't really take this away from them now, because if we do, we're, we're, we're screwing ourselves. So in the end, they left it. And from then, you know, in Diablo, the legendaries were dropping in the bucket ton. It didn't mean that the inscriptions were great, but, you know, it was dropping, so people were happy. It doesn't necessarily mean that every inscription, every masterwork that drops has to be good. No, maybe 1 in 50 is going to be good, but they need to drop. Right now, I'm getting masterworks, and they're not good inscriptions. So I'm running a whole stronghold. I'm running legendary contracts. I did six legendary contracts tonight. I got six masterwork components and all six were kind of garbage. I just feel like they are just now taking the piss and I think it needs to stop. Next up, I wanted to basically start here by saying I was wrong about the universal components. Now, they've introduced masterwork components into the system. These are currently, as people are assuming, bugged because the actual armor and shields are relatively low and they did say they were buffing it so i think maybe at somewhere at some point they've made a mistake here but if they haven't their design is actually correct they're not designed to be high hp high shield components those are your javelin specific components what these are designed for is that these universal ones sacrifice the hp they sacrifice the shield in order to give you higher end inscriptions for universal use. Now, for example, I've got a Masterwork Universal component that gives me 40% additional ultimate damage. That's pretty insane. I've got another one that gives me 35% combo damage and then gives me an additional 25% combo damage. These are insane. I can actually, as a Colossus, feel comfortable in removing one of my components and placing this one in its place. Sure, I'm losing around 10,000 armor, I'm losing a bunch of shield, but that's okay. That doesn't matter because the damage gain I'm getting is compensating for that loss. So whereas in my previous video the loot progression system is broken and it's completely fucked and uh, I didn't understand what the developers were doing, I now actually understand what the developers are doing. I looked into it a lot more, I gave it a lot more thought, and I was wrong. The loot progression system in this regard, in the way that they're doing it, is fine. It's a trade-off. If you want to go super DPS with some HP, you've got that opportunity. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. But the trade-off is there, and that trade-off is something you, as a person, have to decide when you make your build. And I find this totally acceptable, totally fine. As you can see on screen now, some of these masterwork components are actually quite good. The one I'm using at the moment, Thermal Cooling, increases the javelin's heat capacity by 50% of the base capacity to allow the javelin to fly more effectively. However, its perk, it reduces time you stay overheated significantly. So if you do overheat, it's fine. You pretty much can get straight off. And this is a really good perk for me because my Colossus is constantly overheating. I'm constantly trying to keep up with the storms. So something like this is pretty awesome and it extends my time. And not only that, it gives me 40% additional ultimate damage. I mean, how can I say no to that? You've got another one here called Emergency Power. And this one gives you an instant refuel of your ultimate when you get critically wounded. Sure, you can only do it once every two minutes, but that's fine because that means that you can actually do something with it and the inscriptions for these are generally high tier high dps high damage perks so i think 
the trade-off and the system that they're going with is fine. I think what they're doing is pretty much on the money. They're leaving it to the user to decide whether they want to go for a balanced build or a glass cannon build or maybe a fully tank build. The choice is yours, but the universal masterwork components or the universal epic components are there to fill the gaps to boost your DPS if you want them to at the trade-off of health and armor. In my previous video again, I was wrong, I apologize, I take it back, it was the wrong thing to say and I hope hold my hands up. The current system is fine, however, when it comes to the loot, by the way you fucked up. Not once, but twice now and there's going to be a price to pay for this. You need to fix it, you can't do it, you can't do it twice in a row, you can't play with people like this and I hope you're watching this because I've been really fair with Anthem up until this point but this one point that you guys did has I think really just I think you guys just really took the piss and honestly it's about time you guys owned up for something like this and came out and said look guys we fucked up we know we did we're holding our hands up we're going to revert the drop rate we're going to give you more masterworks like you want legendaries will still remain rare and everyone's happy and I think that's the perfect conclusion Legendary should stay rare, Masterworks should drop into plenty because getting the god rolled inscription you want is hard enough. But getting one Masterwork guaranteed per contract is just unacceptable. Getting one guaranteed per stronghold is unacceptable. Well guys, that's pretty much me for this video. I know it's been a rant and I know this is pretty much the first rant I've had with Anthem but I think this one was actually needed and I actually feel better about myself for doing it because it was genuinely needed. Right, thanks for watching, and until next time, remain legend.